I'm Maureen Sakasanga, coming from Zambia. The reason why I'm here is the problem of the spinal cord, where bones from the fifth to the sixth were dislocated. This has affected me so much, where the whole body is stiff, the arms are burning like fire, and with me is the supporting document, uh, the medical report, both refro and the admission letter. We are looking at this medical report from Sorezi General Hospital in uh, Zambia. It's a medical report for Lady Maureen Sekasanga. This is where previously she was admitted and she was diagnosed with dislocation of the cervical vertebrae C5 to C6. So because her condition was so severe, she was referred to another medical facility named Ndola Central Hospital. And here is the medical report from the Ministry of Health, Ndora Central Hospital. It's a medical report for Lady Maureen Sakasanga. Here is where the doctors attended to her to treat her condition, which was so severe. Dr. Sichula attended to her and noted here that she's a case of a person who suffered from a road traffic accident and she was referred from Sorezi Hospital with pain in the neck, pain in the arms. So upon examining her father, he noted that her blood pressure had risen because of this accident. They went ahead still to treat her, and here Dr. Makandila noted that this lady has got spondylosis, it's a disease of the spine, so he advised her to wear a cervical collar, which she's wearing currently, and still under the care of Dr. Yo. They did more treatment of her, they did neck traction, and gave her more medicine to cater for her condition. These are now eight years. Lady Maureen has got so much pain in the back, pain in the neck, she cannot turn it. Watch the agon on her face as she's rising up is the order of the day for these eight years. Difficult in doing everything. Walking is so difficult. She cannot bend. She cannot turn the neck. This is the burden she has brought to the Lord Jesus Christ to offload her. In the power of the Lord Jesus Christ, she's touched. Be held in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> By his stripes we are sets you free. You are free indeed. Lady Maureen is now rising up. The Lord Jesus Christ has done something new for her. Thank you, Jesus. She's now removing the neck collar, which has been wearing for support. Hallelujah! No problem, no problem. She's thanking the Lord Jesus Christ for taking our oh, pain. What happened to you? Thank you, thank you. I had a terrible accident. My name is Maureen Sakasanga. From Zambia, I was unable to move. Not even rising so well from, from the city. Now I feel better. Zambia 
Nuliesu nuli ni ukalu. Kulisambi chaku hichikalu. Yesu ya kwa yashi. Chaka nyongena mwame mungu enda. Mungu kina. Mungu katuka. Alosa kuna msakuli la zari. Aleme mwane. Mm -hmm. You can dance. You can jump. Ye mwane. Ye mwane. Thank you Lord. Okay. Thank you Messiah. Glory to Jesus Christ. Lady Maureen Sakasanga from Zambia was overwhelmed by the instant healing she received from Jesus Christ. The following day, she came back to testify to God's glory, as you can witness. I'm Maureen Sakasanga. On the 10th of August, 2015, I was involved in a road accident. I was rushed to Solez Hospital. I was taken for x-rays. When the doctors came, there were about six around my bed. I could hear them argue, debating, what are we going to do with her? Then they decided to take me to Ndola Hospital. In the process of taking me to Ndola Hospital, Movements from the ward to the ambulance, I got paralyzed. And all again, there were about six to eight doctors around my bed. I could hear them debating, what is the right thing for this woman? Should we take her to UTH? Then I cried, my Lord. Where am I going to get the solution? Even the doctors, they're saying it's so difficult for them. Now what do I do? What is going to happen to me? I'm already paralyzed. Oh dear me. The doctor advised me, should you be operated by anyone, it means throughout your life, you never move or you never walk. From there, I was discharged from that hospital while I was paralyzed. I could put the collar, that's what I was advised, on my neck so that the weight of the head does not uh, press on the spinal cord. Until one day when I went to Solwezi, I met a certain sister who told me, have you heard of uh, Kakande Ministries. I said, oh, Kakande Ministries. She opened her phone. Then I saw what was happening. I said, great. My daughter, how can I get there? Me, I can't do anything. Where do I get the money? Until I got some good Samaritans who saw how I was battling for life how I was struggling to get things done. They put their resources together. And one day they came to me, they said, Mommy, you are going to Kakande Ministries. I said, what? What? Kakande Ministries? Are you sure? They said, yes, here is the money. I said, great, my God. On Saturday, the man of God, prayed for me. In my heart, I was saying, me, I'm not going to fall. Why are they falling down? I'm not going to fall down. I won't, I won't. Now, immediately I looked into his eyes. I felt some movements on the hands, both hands, and then my body. I felt it continued going down, 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 down. As it was going down, the, the body was getting lighter and lighter. I'm able to walk. Maybe those who saw me, how I was moving, I don't know. Even my legs were heavy, my face was heavy. Now this time, look at the way I'm moving. Eh? Even the beauty has come into me. Clap, clap, clap for Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Look, I'm able to turn. I'm able to turn. I'm able to turn. I'm able to bend. Eh? Shake it, shake it, shake it. I'm able to shake. I really thank the man of God 
for praying for me. And I give glory to the almighty God, my Lord Jesus Christ, for doing it all. I also thank the well-wishers, those who saw me. This time, this thing has no value to me. Message to my fellow Zambians. Eno akwe tu ako kusambi ako. Nungwifo nungwifo lili. Aku no kukakande ministries. You may not solo ka. Amu chaka nyongene nguwa mi mungu enda. Chaka nyongene nguwa mi yeso mu isolo ka. Eno mungu solo ke laka. Chocho eno akwe tu munga nusaku li lako. Eso awali ni ukalu. Kusambi ako. Oh the provinces in Zambia. Please come and get what you are missing. You may yes why is in a fupu akuno kuiri. Ma ansazi akuno kuari. Nasakuri la Zambia you may yes why. The lady said that people gave her money to come. You had her testimony. Yes. So office give me three thousand dollars for the lady. <laughs> you don't need to bother. The church will give you $3,000. Now, Mama, this is the $3,000. Thank God for the people who gave you the transport, assisted you. So, for, for, for six months, we shall be sending you $500, $500 for you to eat. Thank you, Jesus. My name is Obi Mwemba. I remember I was the in charge traffic district Sorwezi. And when we went to see her at the hospital, I didn't even know that she can survive. I couldn't even believe that she can survive. You saw the accident? I was the officer in charge for traffic section, which deals with accidents in Sorwezi district. So the story is true? It's very true. And my officers are the ones who dealt with an accident. My name is Atapelonganga from mm. Zambia. She was my roommate. She is the one who contacted me from WhatsApp group to say we'll be sleeping together here in Uganda. Mm. I didn't even know how I just met on the block. Then when I was coming, I didn't have any money for food. She sacrificed the little thing that she has to feed me. And my friend there, they sacrificed money to feed me. My husband is not working. He offered his last money he had to say he go to Kakande. Oh, I will feed my children. Okay, well, once okay. you step in Kakande, Office, give me one things will work. Okay. And had a dream that you are giving me a 900 US dollar. So I was talking to my mother. This I was telling her that, listen, mommy, what I dreamed. And my mother said, it's true. We are going to receive our portion. Me and my friend, we are three of us. They were sacrificing. I led. She's there behind. She fed me okay, from come. Zambia, Lusaka, up to here, up to today as I'm talking to you. I was even feeling bad. I had nothing to give them, not even five. All of 15 when in Zelibe, they've been feeding me. This girl, we, I only met a man of God also on the block. Okay, you dreamt of 900. Yes, I dreamt of 900. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Even if I was seated there, I was thinking, what am I going to feed my children? The trip is over. It is good to work for God, but it is the best to be used by God. Amen. That is why the people are here, and the Lord has a program. How can he bring the officer over there who was there at the scene? How do I know that people will be doubting Kumbe, the officer who was there at the scene, is present? Office, give me another $2,000 for my people here because 
They cannot go empty handed. I give him the grace to live for you. Baby, I'm up. Special blessing for him. The power of God has touched him. Uh, you thought it is uh, just an empty money? No. It's not just a money. Special blessing has touched this gentleman as well. You thought it was a joke? This is a lot of money. These are riches. Yes. Amen. It is not a single money. Problem has gone. Amen, the man of God. Is over. I receive man of God. Everybody will know you over there. I receive man of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Special prayer, the man of God touching his own stomach at the point of contact. Your face is touched. I'm Obi Mwemba, an officer from Zambia police. When you touched here I had the pain right side mm -hmm. and it is gone. And the first time that uh, a man of God you healed me, I dreamed you, you were removing me from a dark room uh -huh. and you touched my leg which had the problem and I was healed last year. That's why I made it in possible a that in a dream, I was healed in a dream. Amen. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. What does your name mean? Mwemba. Mwemba, meaning riches in our language. Riches? Too. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Now you are a rich man. I receive. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. The mine is after the lake. Though there are still some problems, but there is a, a good way for you. I can confirm, man of God. In my farms, uh, some geologists have said there are minerals there. Though some people want to, to grab it from me. Now the man I have given you, nobody will ever grab it from you. Thank you, Jesus. I receive That's thank a you. Guarantee Jesus. go within the three years everything will be on the table. The bus issue is solved. Thank you, Jesus. The transport issue is solved. What is that again? Amen. I receive. Thank you, you Jesus. In fact, before I came here. I wanted to buy a bus. I had only short of the exact money that I've been given. I, I received. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For your project, the Lord has opened the door for you. The husband's issue. What is he? He's at home. You need to pray for him. Thank you, Prophet. Father, help the husband.